Okay, that, what, what number was that? That was number six here. So again, with, with all of these maximization problems, you have to basically, um, you want to, you want to basically, uh, you have two, basically two formulas you're gonna have to use and you have to isolate for a variable and then you, uh, sub that variable into the other formula and then take the derivative and set it to zero to isolate for one variable. So it's a combination of actually a lot of things in optimization, which is uh, the hard, tricky part of that. So number seven is asking us if f of x is, so if f of x here is three x plus two, and if g of x is x squared plus one, find the value of f of g of x. So this is here is our composite f of g of x, and hence it's and and find oh so I want f of g of x, and I want the domain, and I want value at x equals negative two. Okay, so I have a lot of things to do here. So I'm going to la label this. This here, I want to do the first part, the second part, the third part here. So let's do our first part here. First part is asking us, what's f of g of x? And this here is a composite function, right? This here is our composite function where basically we want to put, um, uh, it's going to basically mean this is f of g of x. So basically uh, it's, a, it's a function within a function here. So how do I do that? Well, I have f of g of x here. So I have g of x is equal to this guy here. So x squared plus one is g of x here. And I'm gonna take f of g of x here. So the f of g of x will be three x plus two here is going to be subbed into uh, into uh, into this function here. So I'm, I can say that, we actually let me erase this here. So I have f of x, I'm gonna sub my g of x four x here so i have three times and then this x is going to be um uh x x squared plus one so x squared plus one and this is plus two here so this here is my f of g of x and this is the composite function that i'm looking for and i'm just going to clean this up by saying that this here is simply um f of g of x is going to equal i could use foil again so this is three x squared plus three x plus two. And this here is going to be my f of g of x. So this here, um, oh sorry, this is not a three. This here is just simply just three. I, didn't, I don't know why I put my three x. Sorry, this is simply just three plus two. And f of g of x is going to equal three x squared plus five. And this here is our function for f of g of x. Uh, number two is asking for our domain, right? So our domain of this function. So what is the domain? of f of g of x here. Our domain, if you look at this uh, this this function here, it's three x squared plus five. This here is a parabola, right? So you can think of this function as, as a parabola. My leading coefficient is above one. So you can think of this as some type of function that's opening, oh, it's gonna open upwards, right? It's gonna open upwards like this. And it wouldn't open downwards like so because I don't have a negative value. Again, this isn't actually three x plus five or three x squared plus five here. If I really wanted to uh, graph this function here, I could basically grab the x-intercepts, solve for the y-intercept, and so on and so forth. I think the y-intercept is actually five in this case here, um, but I wouldn't do that for this problem. But either way, the, we care about the domain of the parabola, right? The domain of the parabola means that I know that my d here, my domain of this function here, is x. Is belongs to a set of real numbers. And why does it belong, belong to a set of real numbers? Well, I don't have any limitations to my x, right? I, if I go all the way to pause negative infinity and to pause infinity here, I still have a y value. It's still defined for three x squared plus five here. So the domain of this function is simply x belongs to a set of real numbers and there are no restrictions to this domain. And I want to find the value at negative two, right? So if I want to find the ne negative value, or the value at negative two, so step three now, Step three is I want to find x at negative two of this function here. So I'm basically writing here, this is going to be f of g of x equals three x squared plus five. And I want to sub in x minus two, right? So this is going to equal f three times negative two squared plus five. This will equal three, negative two squared here is four plus five. Three times four here is 12 plus five which will equal 17. And this here is going to be my answer for this problem. And as you can see, 
with 17 as well. So uh, the composition fun function is correct. Uh, domain of the of f of g of x is a collection of all real numbers. So x is, belongs to a set of all real numbers, which is good. And x at negative 2 is 17. So the solution here is correct. Great good analysis as well.